What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Garden for 2 ranking video. This video is going to be ranking all soldiers. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to like it. If you guys are new, subscribe. Leave your comments down below on your opinions. And with that, let's get in to number 10. Coming in at number 10, we have Centurion. Centurion is really just a not good soldier. There's no point in using him over really any other soldier. Sure, he has fire damage, but he just shoots so goddamn slow. And I, I guess he's supposed to be used as a sniper, but there's always Camo Ranger and there's always the dead beards you could use as a sniper. You could also maybe say that he can get to a high point, which is also just kind of like, I don't know about that because he does like 12 damage from afar. He doesn't have that many bullets. And again, he shoots slow, so. I don't know, I just don't really like playing him all that much, and up close, he's not really that good either. Sure, you know, you can get some kills with him, he's got some PG and all that, but his primary is not really that good, and that's why he's number 10, and yeah, that's all. Coming in at number 9, we have Camo Ranger. Now, Camo Ranger is, in my opinion, just really a better Centurion. He's not really anything more than that. He does have a bigger zoom, where his zoom is actually a lot farther than every other soldier, and he does deal more direct damage. Now, the reason why I'm putting him higher is because he is a sniper. I mean, it's not like Centurion, where you don't know how you're supposed to play him right away. Like, you don't know if you want to be up close or far away. He is a sniper, and he does pretty good at it. Really, he's not bad. It's just more of, I don't really enjoy playing him since I'm not more of a sniper soldier character. I'm more of a kind of mid-range, and even at mid-range, he's eh. Um, but really, close up, if you get into a close up fight, then, you know, you're not winning that, because you're playing a sniper character up close. You might win it, but most of the time, not. And yeah, that's why he's number nine. Coming up next, we have Park Ranger. Now, Park Ranger is kind of a weird soldier. He leaves behind a cloud when he shoots, which is kind of like Toxic Citron's cloud, except it does a lot less damage, and it doesn't last as long. He has 18 shots. They decreased his ammo from 22 to 18, which is four extra shots, um, which it does help a lot with those four extra shots. Having 18 shots as a soldier is not the best thing, but with like this cloud, he's still pretty good. It's just like, I don't think the cloud makes up for the, let's say, the base regular soldiers 30 shots i mean really it just does not help whatsoever it really does not help um and just usually for me i always saw myself like not being able to kill someone because i don't have enough shots with this dude the clouds just don't make up for it and that's why he's so high up on this list all right, coming up next, we have General Supremo. Now, General Supremo, my opinion has changed a lot over the last 24 hours about this guy. I first thought he sucked, and then I played him, and then I realized that he really isn't that bad, but he is one of the worst soldiers, and as I said, not one of the worst he's just on the bad side of the soldiers um and the main reason why is because i just don't like how he's an overheat character i would rather shooting someone and i just reload than have to wait and and not know when i'm gonna overheat um and also he can't jump which i know is a, is a factor for a lot of people why he's bad it it doesn't mean that much to me but i would rather be able to jump and know when i have to reload than not um he's still really damn good i mean if you go up to someone like let's say a pea shooter you kill him in like three seconds with him he's really good he shoots really fast i think uh, a little slower than sky trooper it's just kind of a bit of a detriment not being able to jump and overheating but other than that i mean really he's really fun to play i can't lie from here on out all the soldiers are going to be good but it's more of a which one is better than the other situation Coming up next, we have Scuba Soldier. Now, the reason why I put Scuba Soldier here is a lot of people think he's really broken, and I just can't say the same. I don't know, it's just his splash isn't the greatest, and honestly, people say he's a better tank commander, but I, I don't think so. I mean, maybe you can see people through walls, but to be fair, what are you really going to do with that? It's just kind of a pointless feature. Like, I know why, like, sonar, you know, underwater, like, sonar, I get that, but it's just kind of pointless. As I said, his splash isn't that good. His direct damage is pretty good, but that's really if you hit a direct damage shot, which is barely ever, because if you're playing this guy, I don't expect you to ever hit a shot. But yeah, honestly, I just don't really like playing him. Um, he is pretty good. Like, if you, if you are good at aiming, like, he is pretty, pretty freaking good, but I just really never enjoyed playing him. After I mastered him, I just really have never played him or really thought to play him coming up next we have arctic trooper really nothing bad about him he's just regular foot soldier with a freeze effect but less damage to less damage to be exact and honestly he's pretty good i don't i just don't think he's better than regular foot soldier because of that two less damage it does take around 15 to 20 shots to freeze someone with all direct shots and by the time you freeze them you really have to reload regardless 
So it's like, it doesn't really do that much for you, but ZPGing them when they're frozen, you know, that's easy kill, obviously. And they do freeze, even if they're not frozen, they do like still have that freeze effect where they move slower. So it is a lot easier to hit them after that. Um, Yeah, really good character. He's also really fun to play. I just don't think that frost effect makes up for that two damage loss because damage loss on a foot soldier, when he has that rapid fire, it really is kind of a detriment. But other, other than that, he's really good. Coming in at number four, we have Tank Commander. Now, I couldn't have put him super high up on the list since I did put Scuba Soldier at number six, but in my opinion, he is better than Scuba Soldier, and here's why. So, Scuba Soldier hits 60 damage with his damage upgrade, but he has two shots. Has less splash than Tank Commander as well. Tank Commander, with his reload upgrade and his damage upgrade, hits 65, and by the time you reload, you are able to shoot a second shot just as fast as Scuba Soldier can shoot his second shot from his clip. Now, Tank Commander, as I said, deals more damage and has extra splash so in my opinion he is just a better scuba soldier so yeah that's why really nothing else to it and also i feel like i just do better with tank commander when i do play him even though i don't really play scuba that much um but in these uh games i definitely did better with tank commander you guys can't see it because i played like an hour with each character um but i did do very well Coming in at number three on my podium is Super Commando. Super Commando has three shots, and with both of his reload upgrades, he is really good. It basically seems like he's not reloading. He's basically a burst character who, in my opinion, just feels like he never has to reload because think about it, Sun Pharaoh is a burst character, and he shoots just a little bit slower than her, but he deals a lot more damage. And he has a lot more range. So, honestly, that's really the, all the reasons what I just said there. It might not seem like a lot, but it is just absolutely incredible when, when, when you play him. Like, he doesn't need a lot to be good. These soldiers don't need a lot to be good. He's just good as he is. Without with his reload upgrades, he's still okay. Um, he's definitely not nearly as good, but he's still very good. Which is, honestly, every time I play him, I absolutely destroy. Because he's, he's just so freaking good. Coming up, and number two on my podium, is going to be, and this was a hard choice, Regular Foot Soldier. Regular Foot Soldier is so good. He hits 10 damage, has 35 shots, and just shoots a constant burst of just high damage bullets. I mean, he can he can kill a pea shooter in 13 shots, and for how fast he shoots, that is really crazy. Even without his damage upgrade, he still does 9 damage, which is like, what? Without any upgrades, Soldier is amazing. Like, literally, you don't need upgrades for this guy to be good at all. It is absolutely nuts. But, like, oh my god, he is so freaking good. It is actually just insane. Every single time I play this guy, I just know I'm gonna do well. Because, even up close, he's super good. All these other soldiers, maybe other than Super Commando and Tank Commander, the these four do really good but foot soldier does super good close up and i just think he is just so incredible but you know who else is incredible you know who else does really good close up you know who else does really good far away my number one pick and my number one pick for this list is going to be you guessed it sky trooper sky trooper is just a buff version of regular foot soldier i mean i have no other way to put it he deals one less damage and has five less shots however there is one key factor to all of this his dps holy shit his dps is nuts he has the highest dps of any soldier remember how i said general supremo could shred a pea shooter in three seconds with how fast he shoots with his six damage yeah sky trooper mm, maybe two sky trooper is just out of this fucking world like absolutely incredible his dps is so good if you learn how to control his crosshair and his recoil you will be unstoppable i have gotten plenty of double digit shrieks on the first point with him because of how good he is even without his upgrades he is still the best soldier i mean i have no other way to put it obviously it was a hard pick but after a game where i got a 23 kill streak on the first point i just i had to put him here i mean i've never done that with any character ever he's just absolutely phenomenal and my favorite soldier all right that's gonna do it thank you guys so much for watching if you guys did enjoy make sure to drop a like if you guys are new subscribe leave your comments down below let me know what class i should rank next and until next time i'll see you guys in the next one Peace.